All right, so this is going to be Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading April 6th to April 12th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website. Uh, from which you can purchase such and as well if you like the way I read uh, tarot cards and you want to learn how to read the same way linking the cards to career to relationship and in the spreads I'm offering also tarot classes and to sign up for that just check out the website again and you are going to see a tarot class section on the top line so that being said moving to the spread straight away now the first card here which marks the very topic of your week that is going to be the seven of pentacles <clears throat> followed by the next one which represents the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic here that will be the empress card afterwards we do have the challenges that you will need and have to overcome here we do have the sun at that position Followed next, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. That will be the uh, justice card. Afterwards, it is uh, the impression that you are leaving into the people around. Uh, that will be the two of pentacles. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering. Uh, we have the three of wands. Okay, quite an interesting week here uh, for you, Virgo. It does look like that um, uh, the week is going to be accompanied, and I mean accompanied, so the product of the week, after it manifests, it will be a breakthrough. But throughout this particular week, it's like the preparation for that breakthrough to take place. So let's see how it's going to play out. Okay, so... Uh, the Empress card as the energy, it does point that you are going to become increasingly careful with whatever enterprises and circumstances you are to face throughout the week. That is because you are going to start understanding what kind of an impact those circumstances and, and generally those enterprises are going to have for you. And therefore, you are not going to take them lightly it is like they are a, a joke it is like they are a walk in the park it is like they are a, a piece of cake but instead you're going to take your time this is what the energies are going to do with you that is that every time you have to decide something or you have to do something you are going to take your time so you can make the most well-found balanced decisions possible and the best actions appropriate to the situation so you do not go into any kind of extreme now the best thing about those energies it is that they guide one to reap the um or to harvest i would say the fruits of their labor regardless of are those fruits bitter or sweet and that will be the reason that you will understand that you can do things wrong if you are not careful about those things either regarding career or either regarding relationship that's why your sense of of, of carefulness i don't know how to say it or sense of responsibility is going to be increasingly amplified throughout the particular week and uh, that's a good thing because it's very very unlikely for you to make something stupid as a matter of fact I would say that, uh, how can I say that you are going to make something quite exceptionally well with uh, having you the Empress card here. And this whole thing, that whole preparation for the upcoming weeks, it is to lead you in a place where you are to sit in comfort. I mean, look at the, look, look at the card, guys. And if you can see the Queen or the Empress itself and the throne behind, it's kind of like with abundance of comfort. And this is the direction that those energies are pushing you into. But once again, you have to attend to the upcoming enterprises throughout the week with increased sense of maturity, responsibility, and as well, carefulness. And that leads us to the situation itself. So the situation is about Seven of Pentacles. And with the Seven of Pentacles as a situation, it always says that there is a very important event that it is lurking behind the corner. It is waiting its time to happen. And when it happens, it's very, very easy. Oops, I'm sorry. It's very, very easy, one, to get ahead of oneself, but not you, not this time around. Now, when it happens, you, like I said, you're going to take your time. It's very possible that you're going to take a, a break as well, just so you can identify the best way how you are to invest. 
Now, the question is not going to be, should I invest or not? The question is going to be, how much should I invest so I do not over invest in it? Okay, so if that's a, uh, if that's a, a new job, you will have to think about very carefully, you know, how much you're going to throw yourself into it without feeling like you are underappreciated. Or if that's about a new relationship or even ongoing relationship, that will be uh, how much I am throwing in that relationship. And is that person capable to answer to my investments, emotional investments into the relationship? And if not, then I'm just wasting the most of them so i have to abate you know my incorporation into the relationship it's all about that to find the correct measure so you can make the maximum worth out of those measures and uh, that whole thing also says that you know there are going to be peripheral uh, enterprises if you will that you can redirect resources that you are finding as a waste into the main endeavor okay because again it's about how much you should invest and not am i uh, should i invest that that's the thing and i when you decide that you can achieve the same results with even less investments that gives you a reserve of means or of resources to invest in different stuff. So you can expect, like I said, to end up in a huge state of abundance, but that will not gonna happen this week. This week it is just the preparation, the, ident the identification of how much should I invest in it. So uh, that will be the challenge as well itself here, which is uh, the uh, Sun card. And what the Sun card really tells you is that you're going to find it difficult to believe that that is exactly the natural co course of events. That, that is exactly how it is supposed to happen. OK, and uh, therefore you may find yourself a bit disappointed just at the start. OK, that um, you are giving so much and you're not taking as much as you are giving in it. And it's important here to overcome this initial disappointment and to understand that some things has their limits and they cannot give you whatever they can, they, they don't have. You know, if that's a job and you want, um, you are throwing a lot of effort in it and you expect increase in salary, but the company it's really strained right now and doesn't have the money to pay you. They, they, it's not like they do not appreciate you, it's just they don't have enough to pay you, okay? And that means that you should not throw your everything in it, but instead start uh, attending more to your family, start attending more to yourself and et cetera, et cetera. So it's like uh, understanding or accepting that that is how the nature works. That is how the natural course of action is. And another thing about the Sun card is also identifying these different fields of growth that you can redirect resources like time, like efforts, like money as well, if you will, which are going to contribute and add to your uh, to your overall abundance and where, when at the end of the day after this week is over probably in the next one or in the week after you're going to find yourself in a pretty pretty good spot that you do have a income whatever that income is all about because uh, the income is not just only money you know uh, income from a um, from a many different places so that leads us to the uh, next one here which stands oh one more thing about the sun card i'm sorry guys i'm a little bit getting ahead of myself so the sun card uh, also points that you may kind of like experience a lack of momentum at that point you know and it's kind of understandable uh, you just find out that you ain't gonna get the the payment or the reciprocal uh, how can i say this the reciprocal abundance that you are trying to incorporate into one specific endeavor and that will abate you know like I said your momentum and your uh, the momentum of exhilaration that is and it's very important to sober yourself up very very quickly here and to understand that happiness comes with many many different gazes and if you cannot fulfill the entirety of your happiness from one thing you can do it from many other things so it's a perfect week here to just do stuff the way I see it okay to just attract as many or not attract but contribute to as many as you can because they will like I said are going to contribute into uh, towards your 
full abundance here uh, after that week ends. Uh, the gifts and the blessings, it is the justice card and that is awesome in this particular narrative because you are going to be gifted with the astute discernment identifying how much, where and therefore you will be able to uh, attune uh, probably, yeah, to attune, that was the word that I was searching for for so long time, for such a long time, oh my god, to attune appropriately which where, okay? So if something gives you little, you are going to give little and you are going to have no problem identifying it because you're going to have the astute discernment how much, where and how needs to be attuned, which slot in your daily routine that particular thing for example the dinner with your husband or a wife for example the uh, business talk with your boss and etc has to take and what kind of priority those things need to take and therefore after the week you are to find your daily routine or just or, or just your your routine in general to be much more structured and much more efficient this gift it's the gift of efficiency it's the gift of of uh, giving exactly not giving it exactly but attending exactly as much and as well as it needs to be without overkilling it and without underperforming it as well so what uh, the it is the impression that the people are going to see in you um and or, or that you are going to give in to the people around that will be with the two of pentacles and uh, people are going to see you quite adaptive that is very um, that is the best or the biggest trait of the two of pentacles it is where you know you are letting go of outdated concepts here and you are reshuffling or readjusting i would say how much one thing means to you and how much other things is going to mean to you as well so <clears throat> that is where uh, people are going to see you like changing not exactly interests okay but readjusting priorities and the good thing is that people are going to understand that and they are not going to be mad at you at all because that is a common trait these days you know when you when you decide that something should not take such a big priority in your life those who are concerned by it are kind of start holding a grudge towards you it's good because that is our human nature people think that their problem it is the most relevant out there and it is the most important thing in this world and that's not the case and you're going to face a um, understanding here whenever you withdraw a, a priority or you abate priority into one thing uh, you are not to be the blame for it and uh, therefore you are to you should not expect that people are to give you hard time this is what i am trying to say with that card and uh, the good thing is as well as the impression it is that uh, right now those that are very close to you throughout this week i mean are going to see you capable for a new stuff like capable for a new tasks tasks excuse me capable for to explore new horizons if we're talking about relationship do stuff that you haven't done up until this moment and so on and so forth that comes from the um uh from the uh redefining concepts of one's environment and the last one here, which is the guidance that Tara is offering, we do have the Tree of Wands. And that card tells us, or tells you, Virgo, it is that you should not rest until you have it the way you anticipated it. Because the Tree of Wands in this narrative, it is a complete synchrony in between your actions and your expectations. So, uh, and that's why I said that probably you are going to identify that you are overkilling or overperforming in many of your things. And those expectations that you have can be achieved with way less efforts than you are giving right now. And if you are feeling, uh, how can I say it, uh, fatigued, if you are feeling like with no energy, which could be as well the thing with the sun, because the sun is the expanding energy of growth and is pointing that you are wasting it in one or another way, while you can direct it into a more productive things and under more i mean more as a quantity not quality you can achieve the same quality with far less than what you are giving right now and that's why this week it's a week of your preparation that you are re-identifying how much where how much you are you gotta give and where you gotta give it
So that being said, Virgo, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, uh, for a April 6th to April 12th, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can purchase such. And uh, if you are interested in, um, in reading tarot the way I read it as well, I'm offering tarot classes and in them in the live sessions, I'm going to explain you every single tarot card from the major arcana with the beginning tarot class. Uh, how to interpret it in term of career, how to interpret it in term of relationship. And we are looking at the cards in every single position in a, a card spread that I have chosen for the purpose of the class. So hopefully by the end, you are going to have a pretty good idea how the card is related to almost any kind of question that you can be surprised if you are reading tarot for someone. Uh, that being said, um, hopefully we're going to see each other around. Stay safe. And until then. Bye.